friends and greetings from Iceland. I'm driving to work and as you see you can see the eruption from the highway. <clears throat> Even here from the east I'm some uh, 55 kilometers to the east of the eruption site but today we have great clarity in the area because we don't have any clouds and the eruption is visible even from the ring road uh, direction Salfos. I'm going to work and uh, I will uh, make a proper video when I have a free time but for now I will report that <coughs> lava flooded the road to Grindavik uh, 5 o'clock in the morning the road to Grindavik in Blue Lagoon had been destroyed again by the lava uh, more or less in the same location as uh, earlier times so they will have to make a new road to Grindavik and Blue Lagoon this is the major news and it's uh, already some 300 meters away from the hot water pipes which go which provide hot water and um, electricity heating electricity to uh, the towns of uh, Kaplavik, Njardvik and the airport uh, so that's the major threat for now uh, that's what I know also the fish is not that big it's only three kilometers long so far this is the smallest eruption uh, one of the smallest uh, in the series of Sunuka Giger because last fish was seven kilometers long now we have three kilometers less than a half comparing to the previous eruption and that's a good news in on the other hand but then I read that they forecast this eruption is likely to last longer we will see nobody knows actually so those are the major updates lava destroys the road eruption is small fish is not big three kilometers no lava is going towards Grindavik so it's another great news for the town so the town of Grindavik is safe because the flow already uh, the fish extension stop it it's not expanding anymore and activity is narrowing up to uh, one location as all, always it does so the fish is not expanding but contracting and uh, <clears throat> the eruption is likely to last some time we will see how long I have to go to work unfortunately it's still dark in Iceland uh, unusually cold temperatures uh, it's minus 15 as you see minus 15 Celsius right now in Iceland which is very strange we never had such number in November now I don't remember since last winter I think maybe we had last winter such number here on the coastline I mean because on the glaciers it's always minus 20 but on the coastline we never had such high numbers so that's very strange minus 15 and the volcano is erupting uh, there are some metaphysical implications behind the volcano there is some meaning because nothing is accidental in this life as you know so volcanoes do serve as a warning sign signs from the high forces from God to mankind Especially here in Europe, you know that La Palma volcano ended two months before the war broke out uh, in Ukraine, before the Russia invaded Ukraine, and every country in Europe was affected as a result. Even the Spain, even the very La Palma island and Canary Islands, which received many refugees from Ukraine, and then the inflation started, you know, which affected the lives of millions of people around Europe and also in America, even, you know. Even in Iceland here we pay now uh, the mortgage of 10.3% I pay, you know, it was 3.6% uh, before the La Palma ended, like before the first eruption started, now it's 10.3%, so um, it's a warning sign, definitely it's a warning sign, it's something is not a good warning sign, uh, I mean, I don't know what, how the war in Ukraine is going to develop, but there is escalation of war, escalation of conflict there and Putin is going crazy as you know, doing all kinds of threats to Europe again, after uh, US allowed long missile strikes uh, 
on Russia, you know, change the nuclear doctrine of uh, uh, of Russia. But he's in a way a terrorist, so he is terrorizing. He's doing also political terrorism, so we don't know what how he's going to to behave. Anyway, the volcano erupted in Iceland again. Grindavik is safe. Logun Road destroyed. Lava is 300 meters away from hot, uh, hot water pipes towards <coughs> towards Keplavik. Blue Lagoon is safe. The walls are huge around Blue Lagoon. They raise them very high. There is no chance lava would break through them. So, but the hot water pipes might, might get damaged. But they hide them well deep in the ground now. And the power lines, hard to say, electrical power lines, they go on the ground. So they might get burned. We will see. But all the lava is going to the west uh, and somewhat to the east, but not to the south. Those are the major updates from Iceland. I'll keep you informed uh, and be well. God bless you all.